Welcome to the Harvard Crimson's video sports coverage, Harvard's best source for online sports news. Last Friday, the biggest game of the Ivy League, and perhaps the biggest in Harvard men's basketball history, came to Levitis Pavilion, pitting Jeremy Lin and Kyle Casey against the Ivy League leading and two-time defending conference champions, Cornell. The Big Red won the tip-off and jumped out to an early lead, thanks in large part to the Crimson's miscues. Doug Miller airmails Max Kenny a minute into the action, and Jeremy Lin's pass slips through Keith Wright's buttery fingers minutes later. For much of the first half, however, Lin was sensational. The senior was able to get to the rack a variety of ways, a floater over Ryan Whitman, a blow-by past Jeff Reeves, and a runner in traffic en route to 16 first half points. Cornell responded by dialing it up from distance. Whitman in particular was devastating. The Big Red's leading scorer knocked down four triples in the opening frame, spraying his wet jump shot all over the court, including here a pull-up over Brandon Curry. Casey had enough at one point, asking Jeff Foote to kindly leave his dojo. Lynn too wouldn't back down as he tells John Jakes to purify himself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Harvard did not have an answer for Foote in the first half, and he made them pay with a casual slam. The Crimson went into halftime trailing by nine, and coming out of the break, the outlook did not improve, with Whitman hitting a tough shot and Louis Dale's four second half trays, Cornell built a 17 point lead. At that point, the Crimson mounted a comeback. Lynn fakes and hits a reverse, Curry buries a deep triple, and then he does it on the other end of the floor with a block. Christian Webster's three capped a 12-0 run and cut the lead to five points with eight minutes remaining. But the Big Red settled down after a timeout, and a three by Whitman, followed by this bucket from Dale, stretched the margin back to 11, and from there, Cornell cruised. Whitman led all scores with 27 points, undoubtedly impressing the 16 NBA scouts on hand and delighting the Big Red faithful. After the game, Lynn and Tommy Amaker shared their thoughts on the 79-70 loss. Uh, I mean, obviously it's very disappointing uh, just because, I mean, our guys have worked really hard and, and we've, you know, done a lot of things to put ourselves in this position, but um, we couldn't get the stops when we needed to, and, and uh, we have a lot of respect for Quinnell. Uh, you know, as, as it has to be in, in our league, like you got to get over this, win or lose, and get on to the next one. 